One such case which is difficult to explain is that of police deputy Val Johnson from Oslo, Minnesota. The light was coming at me. It was extremely bright. The inside of the car lit up. I can remember that. And uh, it was a very dazzling, brilliant occurrence. His story is that while driving along a country road on night patrol, he saw a light in the far distance. After he'd been watching it for a while, it started moving towards him. He maintains that he blacked out, and when he came to, his car had been thrown across the road. Later examination revealed that the car itself had been damaged. A dented top, smashed headlights, shattered windshield, and a bent antenna. Something did strike my vehicle. Uh, something didn't want me there, apparently, or it was, you know, I, I can't put a judgment on it. Uh, I really don't know how to classify it. I, don't, I can't classify it as an attack. You and I are about to take a step into a giant puzzle. The mystery begins on the barren landscape of Marshall County, Minnesota. On August 27, 1979, Deputy Val Johnson experiences something incredible. And suddenly the light that had been there suddenly became here and it uh, struck my vehicle causing some damage to it. I feel that uh, whatever Val told me about the light and the strange, inc strange incident was true. I, I don't uh, doubt Val in any way. Hoax doesn't seem very likely in this case, not only for what all of Johnson's colleagues and friends have indicated about the man, but because of the unusualness of the effects. I'm convinced that it's something not of the ordinary in nature because of the sequence of the fractures as they occurred and the magnitude of the stresses involved in them. Deputy Johnson is a policeman. The documentation of his experience comes from an unusual source. We have a recording of the actual radio call that he made seconds after the incident. Listen closely. 407, uh, what is your condition? I don't know. Something just hit my car. I don't know how to explain it. Strange. Are you, uh, what's your condition? Are you okay? Something attacked my car. I'll get hold of 406 Stephen and send him along the way. What is it that happened? Deputy Johnson recreated step by step the events of that night. I was on routine patrol and I came up to this intersection and I looked south and I uh, saw a bright light just over the center of the roadway. My first impression was that maybe it was a semi with uh, one headlight broken out and then it dawned on me that the light was too big around and too intense for an ordinary headlight. Val was rushed to a local hospital where he was examined by Dr. W.A. Pinsonalt. My eyes were extremely painful as if I'd been subjected to uh, something like arc welder burn or something. My uh, there was some salve put in my eyes, and they were covered with that, an adhesive bandage. But in a matter of uh, six to eight hours, they cleared up. Alan Hendry is an investigator with the Center for UFO Studies. Now, on hearing of Val's experience, he came to Marshall County. The case is quite striking for the simple reason that a law enforcement officer has reported a sighting that left behind damage to his car an injury to his own eyes immediately following the experience. 
We learned of the Val Johnson case in much the same manner we learn of most of our sighting reports. The deputy of Marshall County contacted us directly via our 800 toll-free phone number, which we've issued to 10,000 police departments around the country. The biggest mystery about the Val Johnson case to me is trying to find one neat explanation for something that could behave the way he described, yet create the kinds of damage that we analyzed and discovered. Mr. Meridian French, a crash technician for the Ford Motor Company. A request was made by Mr. Alan Henry to Ford Motor Company and uh, through the normal chain of command down to the glass division, I, as the so-called glass expert, was asked to come out and examine the windshield. The cracks in this particular windshield are not unusual in themselves, any one of which I could reproduce uh, myself in the laboratory, but as a group, they're unusual. French traced the outlines of the shattered windshield in order to analyze the fracture. I'm convinced that uh, the fractures, that, as we see here, were made by some type of a blow from the outside of the glass by some firm, uh, probably hard object, but with not sufficient force to crush the glass, but enough force to bend the glass to the point of breaking it. I have not seen anything like this before. They are extremely unusual. I've been in uh, law enforcement for about 15 years. I've been uh, chief deputy sheriff in uh, Marshall County for eight years, and I was uh, elected sheriff of uh, Marshall County last January 1st, so I've been in office about a year now. The car, the car itself had uh, busted headlights. The windshield was broke. One of the red lights on top of the roof was broke. The antennas were bent backward, where if an object would have striked and struck them, they should have been bent forward. But they were bent the opposite way, as if some force had bent them. Bell Johnson's a very good fellow, and he's a good officer. He has uh, three young children and a nice wife, and he's a very reliable person. And my feeling was that whatever happened uh, was strange and unknown, and uh, there was no doubt in my mind that Val was telling what he actually saw. This is Deputy Val Johnson and his wife, Roseanne, everybody. <laughs> now, since that incredible experience that has shocked us all, have you had any other experiences, any, any other close encounters? No, sir, no. Had you had any before this? No, no, this is the uh, first one. Well, how has it changed your life? Well, it's... Uh, it's uh, brought our family unit, unit closer together. Uh, we, because it scared everybody so much, you mean? Well, there was a lot of people confused about it and a lot of uh, unusual stories that came out about it. Uh, but uh, it's uh, brought us closer together as a family unit. Was it a religious experience for you? Many times the, these events are, are a religious experience. Upon reflection afterwards, it's been about six months now, upon reflection, uh, we've kind of come to the uh, conclusion that... Uh, Perhaps the Creator has made other things that we can't readily see or readily identify, and perhaps this is one of the things we encountered out in the road. Certainly a humbling experience. Thank you, Roseanne and Val, for sharing your feelings about your experience with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Val, what happened? I don't know what the hell happened. What kind of car was it? It wasn't my car, Greg.